Today I would like uh, to talk about uh, core blocks and uh, how to use this integrated development environment for programming in Fortran. Um, uh, Code Blocks is open source project. It was started in 2004. Um, it's developed in C++ uh, using additional some uh, libraries. Um, code organized into core and many plugins. Um, it runs on Linux, uh, Windows, perhaps on Mac. There is no official build for Mac, but somebody uh, built it. Uh, so perhaps it's possible. Uh, and it's oriented towards C++ language and, and Fortran. For, no, first language is and was and is C++. However, it has very good support for Fortran too. Okay, so Fortran project plugin. It it's what what makes a code block useful for Fortran. And it there is there is um, other there are other parts of code where where, where Fortran specific code uh, in other parts of uh, development environment. However, other parts are very small comparing to the uh, Fortran project plugin. And um, this project was this plugin was started in 2010 and I am author of this plugin and I am developing it in my free time. It's a, now it's about 29,000 of code lines. It's, it's one of the biggest uh, plugin in code block. However, it's just just very small, the small part of code block. Uh, now I, I'm building and distributing uh, custom build of code block oriented toward uh, Fortran uh, programmers uh, it, for Linux and for Windows. Uh, you can find uh, here more information and uh, download and more, more, more useful info about it. And if you start to use uh, code blog, then it's, it's good to, to, to know where to find uh, uh, settings for Fortran project uh, plugin. It's, settings editor. When somebody starts to use uh, 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 code blocks, it's, it's very good to understand uh, some basics. And basics is, uh, I think, is very important. Uh, it's how, how files are organized in, in, in this development environment. Uh, so in code blocks, we have one workspace and this workspace can have one or more project files. Uh, then each project file can have one or more built targets and, and files are attached to, to, to built targets. And um, one file can belong to one or more built targets. So uh, built targets can have uh, different files or, 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 the same, or share the same files. Uh, now I would like to go to, to the list of, 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 of features, which I think is, uh, are important for Fortran users, for Fortran developers. And first is editor. Of, of course, it has uh, uh, syntax highlighting, uh, uh, code folding, like here, occurrences highlighting. A fourth one construct highlighter here is showed, uh, and one very important feature is keyboard shortcuts uh, can be adjusted. And if you have some experiment experience with other development environments, then you do not need to learn new keyboard shortcuts. You can adjust them uh, here. Code completion, uh, okay, so. Code blocks. It has code completion for Fortran, and um, Code blocks tries to, to to be clever as possible and use some logic 
no deep learning yet. <laughs> However, call tips, uh, call tips uh, shows information about uh, about dummy arguments, and it's here uh, when we it displays dummy argument uh, and type of this dummy argument and and some some documentation for this uh, dummy argument and call tips. Uh, such window with call tip is uh, displayed when we keep mouse longer on some some name, and additionally on the bottom window in the bottom window there is uh, for an info tab where is additional information displayed more detailed information as as in the call tip. Auto complete feature. Uh, okay, it it replaces uh, short uh, short short keyword with a predefined code. Oh, sorry, uh, and user can ah, it, it saves some some time for for typing, and user can adjust or or, or add new 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 keywords, and ah, as you like. Yeah, this feature auto insert it just inserts uh, uh, and statements and a bit uh, symbols browser uh, it displays what what is inside in our workspace or, or, or current project or current uh, editor uh, it is clever enough and rec recognizes the uh, difference between private and public um, items um, Uh, in code block, we can uh, compile uh, Fortran code directly in code block. It uses um, GFortran compiler or some some other commercial compiler, and uh, and user can add uh, his own compiler if he like. And uh, compilers are described in in, in on separate uh, text files. It's possible to use a debugger from uh, code blocks. It's uh, it, and code blocks uses a GDB debugger, and uh, my custom build is uh, adds a bit more, a bit more customized for Fortran. It adds Python pretty printer and uh, additionally adds possibility to visualize one D and two D arrays with a uh, GNU plot. More information you can find here. Uh, called 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 call by tree. If you will click, will click, right click on some name and then show called tree. It will show some uh, window with called called uh, called procedures, and now uh, we can use it for for navigation in our code. Okay, navigation in code. Um, okay, I think that navigation in code is very important and and perhaps even more important than code completion. So I made a separate slide, uh, which, uh, what are possibilities for code completion? Uh, first, uh, browse check Apple again, it checks mouse clicks, uh, and then using this uh, toolbar, we, we can navigate uh, through, go through the history of this uh, clicks. Um, second possibility is, to use this uh, keyboard combination, then small window up here with the list of, of files where we were, and we can quickly jump back uh, to the to the previous file. Uh, then possibility to jump to the, some some item in the code, and then uh, this jumps are tracked by your Fortran project login, and we can navigate uh, through the history of these jumps using this um, toolbar. And already mentioned, it's called called by a tree. We can use this to to navigate through through our code. Code refactoring, okay, it's code blocks includes several code refactoring for Fortran. It, uh, it is change case, tap to space, and uh, for uh, format indent. And uh, it is format indent. It initially was developed uh, by this developer as a separate plugin, but later was included into Fortran project plugin. 
um, there is possibility to generate a make file uh, for Linux, which. And last last tool is bent to uh, tool. And 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 what you make it 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 wraps Fortran code and generates uh, Fortran wrapper code, uh, which enables um, which enables uh, and see and see headers, uh, which enables uh, us to to call Fortran from a C language or C plus plus or Additionally, it, it has possibility to generate Cthulhu code, and this Cthulhu code uh, can be compiled into Python extension module, and which allows us to to, to call our Fortran code from from Python. And yeah, time for demonstration. And I would like to show code group. Code blocks environment. Um, oh good. When we open code blocks, we see such 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 window. And now I start new new project. Fortran language, Fortran application, go. And in examples, I will call it test. Test one yeah. Fortran compiler I, I can choose oh, I, I have here only one installed and to to build targets uh, it's 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 good enough for me what I get is yeah, main program with a hello world I compile it yeah. Everything is successful, and I started here. I have hello world. Uh, okay, I would like to get a bit, a bit more, and say I want declare real array. And want to initialize it. Oh. I want to save a bit time for 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 typing, and I need to. Uh, you see, code completion is working here, and. So, and I want to print it. Oh. Compile it, execute. Yeah, I have, I have array printed uh, a lot of numbers and I do not know if they, is, uh, correct, if they are correct or not. Let's try the debugging. Debugger, run the cursor. Okay, we have, I can look what is inside of, of array. I can write some additional variable. No, I do not have such, but say I part, uh, just to part of array. Yeah, part of array, or I can just just write and visualize array. Yeah, I have it. so science. It's it's sinus, so it should be correct values. Uh, and I finish with debugging. Well, now I would like to demonstrate how to use 
say third party libraries and and uh, with example on how to use MPI. Uh, now I want say I want to have code completion. I do not need uh, use MPI. I would like to I would like oh sorry it's wrong. Oh yeah. sorry, oh Of oh, sorry. Mm. I should close, I think. Yeah, okay. It's it's like uh, sorry, it's 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 my 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 cursor, my keyboard. Okay, what I would like to have is a code completion for MPI, and I do not have here. So, what can I do? I done my homework, and I done my homework and downloaded Open MPI uh, library, extracted it and uh, find uh, and, and found there where is included um, this uh, where, where is this module and this module and copy this file with this module uh, here in, in in a separate um, in a separate uh, directory and you see this module and it it uses additional files and these files are all are here so I made just a separate directory. Now I would like to go to the properties of, of project properties. And here we have Fortran additional search files for code completion. And I want to include that library into my, to find this library. And uh, no. Okay, so I have this directory, and now should we have code completion for this? It, it, code blocks fi find uh, found this uh, this uh, modules, and I can use code completion for all MPI. Oops, it's not working. Oh, is it, it is wrong. Yes, it's wrong. Now it's okay. MPI in it. Yeah. Okay. Is you see that it's error error uh, argument is is optional, so I will not include it. To the end, I call MPI finalize. And again, error is uh, optional in this case. Uh, one, what's more, I would like to call MPI uh, rank. I would like to know uh, what is my rank. Yeah, this variable. My rank, I should have an additional variable. And oh, again, error is uh, optional. And I will print my rank.
And I will compile it. Yeah, I guess most of you understand where is problem that I'm using GFortran and I, I should use uh, wrapper, not directly GFortran. What can I do? I go to the compilers, I find my GFortran and copy it and say it's G. Okay, and here I will change to MPIF90. Okay, so I have compiler. Now I should change compiler for, for, for my project. And yes, yes, okay. So I have MPI, uh, GFORT on MPI for my project. And now I compile again, now successful. Now I started, okay, rank one or rank zero. And what, for example, I want to run on two processors, what to do? Okay, I can do it. I can add here uh, MPI run. Just one, two processors. Okay, and run. Yeah, I have here zero and one rank. Uh, that's what's made with uh, demonstration. And again, again, yes, again with um, now, uh, now father is uh, work in progress. Yeah. So, what is my work in progress? I, I describe my problem. Problem is that um, okay, there is one library, and perhaps there are more. <laughs> no, not perhaps there. Are of course, more libraries which, which I which use use a C preprocessor, and one library is Fortran template library, which uh, uses a lot of C preprocessor, and um, yeah, it's nice library, generic, generic containers, uh, uh, algorithms, string manipulation. I, I, I like very much this library. And in this library, what I see is a user should write this four lines, and uh, result is like like in C would be uh, just integer array, integer integer vector. Uh, problem that uh, with in code blocks, a code box cannot understand this the statements uh, because it's 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 preprocessor, and what to do? Yeah, of course, its solution is to implement preprocessor directives. Um, perhaps I cannot implement implement everything. However, some some of those uh, directives I can, and for example. I just close this project. Uh, yes, and I will open test dynamic array. Okay, I I have opened it and yeah, uh, I tried to get code completion. It's it's not working. Uh, I see in 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 symbols browser there is only uh, only one one hello program. Nothing more. So. User can use this uh, library. However, um, code block is not very helpful, and I will try to open a new version or my development version and open the same the same project. Now I have code completion. I have. In symbols browser, we have I have uh, 
yeah, I have this module and uh, many, many items or uh, functions described inside. When I click, I will jump here. Yeah, it's module, however, here and functions it looks like here. And okay, it seems like working and from code completion is working too. Yeah, I can. So it seems it, it working. So again, it's just a work in progress and and just work in progress. And why? Uh, yeah, yesterday uh, we heard such such statement or such thought. Uh, Fortran should should feel like play, not work. Uh, I thought, and I fully agree with that. And my my suggestion uh, to Fortran developers is well, try try code blocks. Yeah. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Darius. It was a great talk, and we have. Uh, Expectedly, a flurry of questions. So, we'll try to ask as much as possible. So, uh, yes, the first one would be about hiding and unhiding the directives of Open MP and Open ACC and commands. So, I, sorry, I haven't understood. Perhaps I was uh, too, too busy with my <laughs> my, my you, windows. You can also read it on Slack, but I will read it once again. So. Uh, is there a way to hide and hide OpenMP or OpenACC commands in the source viewer? Mm, no, I think uh, it's, it's not possible. You, you see, I, you, it's normal editor, uh, nothing special. I, I, there is not nothing special. What I can see, open, 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 open MP or so, then. You can uh, 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 code block supports some uh, code completion for OpenMP directives or Open ACC directives, but not that you hide and hide. Okay, uh, the following is: uh, Is it possible to create a solution file for code blocks via CMake? Um. Mm. It has been partially answered in the in the discussion. So if you if you don't have your opinion, then people can read the answers. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, perhaps I will I will answer later because I yes, so uh, quickly cannot. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it's fine. So then there is a question. Where is the start a GTK Fortran project button? So people are also making fun. Yeah? Mm. Mm. So yeah, okay. I do not know. <laughs> I, th I think you you said that you cannot implement everything. Yes, so that's the answer. <laughs> and so let, let's go on. So does code blocks have the feature related to the code snippet? Uh, feature. Oh. Hmm. Sorry, I, I cannot now, and uh, I do not remember feeling cold snippets, no sleeping. Uh, I think it's post this post uh, about code, uh, code snippets. It's, uh, I think it's in these slides I, I showed you, um, I showed you about um, and this. Well, well, it's yeah. Perhaps you may 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 think of, about it something like. And in code blocks, they separate for code snippets. It's separate uh, plugin too, so it's additionally. So uh, well, when I talk, I talked about this uh, autocomplete or abbreviations, and. Uh, 
perhaps it's what you are looking for. Yeah, perhaps. Yeah. So, um, the next question is, uh, is loading a core dump supported? Uh, loading core dump. I do not know, perhaps. Uh, and my answer is no. <laughs> so then I think an important question is from Robert Tripp. So he uses the Fortran plugin for the IntelliJ based IDEs. So do you know what it is? And if you do, do you think it's possible to join forces? Oh, I, I do not know, sorry. Fine, and, and yes, so let's move to another question. So what is your take on the language server protocol approach? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I do not know. Uh, okay. Uh, Code uh, blocks has own own parser, so it does not use uh, this language server protocol. Um, I have implemented this parser for 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 Fortran, as is for implemented for C plus um, plus. So, it, um, block does not use it. I, um, perhaps it, it is possible as uh, as an alternative to use um, this uh, server or something like. Uh, it's possible, of course. <laughs> However, I do not have experience or. Maybe it's very easy and very good. <laughs> okay, so let's move to the last question of the day. Well, there will be more. You feel free to answer them in Slack. So, uh, what are about default options for debugging? What do you mean? It's ah, options. It is. When I created new new project, uh, new project, I have, for example, uh, built options and the default and yeah, debug yeah. debug uh, exactly, target. Exactly. It has uh, this option G and I don't know how. Perhaps it's all and yeah, we are all we have. Exactly, this two are uh, check so I all. Think, I not, think it's not, sure. so it's yeah. not selected. <laughs> yeah, so check all, yes, it's not yeah, selected. I'll check all so specifically. Okay, good. Uh, thank you, Darius. Since we run out of time, uh, we should stop here. But if you're interested, you can look at the question. Yeah. Uh, like uh, yes, yes. There. I will so, try to answer. I'd like to thank all the speakers one more time for excellent presentations.